Hi! In this video, we'll be adding movement to the basic VR setup from before using the standard Godot XR Tools movement providers. So we'll start with opening up the previous project. So this is the scene we had with an XR rig in the middle. So what we're going to do is go into the movement providers and drag a movement direct under the left controller and turn on strafing. And we'll add a movement direct to the right controller, and this time we will leave strafing off. We'll add a movement turn provider to the right controller. It's currently set for the turn mode of default, but that can be tweaked in the project settings. So you can see that the, the default is set for snap turning. So this will let us move and strafe with the left joystick and move and turn with the right. So here we go. So I'm just turning around a little bit and I'm moving towards the, uh, the edge of the ground. Yeah, there's not much to see, so we'll add a few uh, things to the scene, I think. All right, so let's construct a, uh, a block uh, out of a static body. So we'll add a mesh to make it visible. So create a new box mesh, size 2x2x8 two by two by meters. And let's add a collision shape as well, so we can actually interact with it of the same dimensions, 2 by 2 by 8. All right. We'll move this block in front of the, the uh, player. Uh, let's make an, a clone of that and uh, make a ramp out of it. So let's tilt that down a little bit. And, uh, Drag that so it roughly lines up with the uh, the edge there. That's good enough. Let's clone that block and build a, another ramp on the other side. So, Tilt it up by about uh, 15 degrees or so. Line that with the other side. Set that a little steeper. There we go. And let's clone this block one more time and just put it at the top there. All right. So move around, run up the ramps. Oh, I didn't quite make it on the top there. Can't quite make it. There's just a little bit of a lip there. Just too much to uh, to get up. So let's adjust that uh, down one notch. And just try that again. All right, there we go. I guess it's up there. All right, let's add uh, jumping and crouching to this as well. So we'll put those under the right controller. So find, um, do movement uh, jump first, drag that under. Uh, let's also grab uh, movement crouch. We want to change the buttons they're mapped to, so let's go to Movement Jump. It's currently set for the trigger. But we'll go and, uh, into the Action Map and find... Yeah, let's take the AX button. Let's put that in there. And for Crouch, we'll pick uh, BY. So, there we go. Oh, let's actually not pick the name, let's pick the actual ID. Alright. There we go, and there, crouching. So. Try a little bit of a jump, there we go. There we 
to jump off the edge there. All right. Stop jumping and crouching. Okay, I think that'll do it for today.